Hi guys, good to see you all here. Um, today I'm going to show you how I painted this foreground. Uh, this painting is a lesson on MJS TV, my online painting school. Um, it's been filmed in its entirety. There's no time lapse. Every single brush stroke is filmed. Actually, there's over 50 lessons now on MJS TV, so go and check that out. There's a link in the description below. Um, also, for those of you that are interested, I have a Patreon page, um, and there's live streams, regular live streams, Q&As, um, lots going on there, so go and check that out as well. But let's get working on this. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start moving over to the sand. There's a fair amount of rocks sitting in the sand, but I think we need to do that sand and then put the rocks in afterwards. And I think what we're going to do is move over to the Series 7 size 8 just to get that in. It's fairly smooth, there's no real detail in there that I can see. So what we're going to do is go right up to the edge of the rock along the shoreline there. start to move further down I think it gets darker so a very thin coat I don't need to do that too put too much thickness in that and now what I'm going to do is add the light on the sand just near the waterline there and I'm going to do that with the coma brush again just because it's going to allow us to get a nice sharp edge try and put a, a fair amount down because we're now trying to paint over the top of the the sand color that we've just put in to put a fairly thick area of paint down. Okay, so that's good, pleased with that. Now what we can do is start adding some details to the rocks that we already have here and also adding some rocks as well. So I don't mind going a little bit darker than perhaps you can see in the photograph because we're painting on a light background, so we're going to be picking up some of that lighter colour anyway. So we are not far off the black there, it's not quite. And then we're just going to put in the rocks where we can see them. As we did before now just adding those darker darker tones um, as we move nearer to the front it tends to get more contrasty so we can make those dark tones a little darker and actually that's what helps it to look more um, 3d in a way So I'm going to put some sand now in between the rocks. So we already have some paint mixed there. We just need to liven it up a bit with some uh, thinner. sun. Okay, 
Okay, right, so last thing to do for that area now is to add some of the greens that we've got here. Okay, so we are going to continue working on the sand. Um, we've got to about this point here, so that's finished. We now need to just refine the sand here, then we'll work on the stones. We're generally going to move forward from there. So all I'm going to do is, first of all, going to use a mixture of brushes, the Series 7 size 8 for the larger areas, and just to go round the rocks, the Series 2 size 2. So looking at the sand here, there's no real texture. You can see a hint of footprints, but that's about it. As we start to move further or nearer to the front, then we can start to see some texture in the sand. We can see that detail. We don't need to worry about it too much yet. So I'm going to work on this area here. Now, it's not a constant colour. It does vary uh, quite a bit. Let's have a look. Okay, so let's now start to add some of the details within that. So we've got some of the darks to add to the rocks here and just general detail within the sand itself. And once we've done that area, I think we're going to move across to here. Um, but let's start off in this area here, working our way to the right. So in order for us to start working on the sand here, what I'm going to do is just give it a general but very thin coat. The reason being is I want to take out some of the little areas where you can see the panel through, the brush marks here. Um, we, I want to smooth it out and then we're going to add texture afterwards. Okay, so we've got that general colour on there now. We've covered over the majority of the brush marks that we could see in the blocking. What we now need to do is start to add some texture. And we're going to do that, as always, with our tree and texture brush. So I'm going to be looking now to <clears throat> keep the colours very similar, maybe slightly darkening them. We just need to give the illusion uh, of sand, really. Now also another benefit to having put a, a wet coat on first is this is not standing out so much. If we had have just put this on a dry surface, it wouldn't have it would have been a little bit too sharp. <laughs> 